Welcome to MPTV, Prayer for the Mind, Body and Soul. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. It is a good thing to dwell in God's love. All hearts may be coming at you, but remain in God's love. It may be hard at times, but remain in His love. He is always loving you. He is always there for you. Let us pray. I'm going to do a declaration. And I want you to declare also and come in agreement. The scripture says that where two or three are gathered in agreement. Angels in heaven will agree also and our prayers will be answered. As I'm about to pray, feel free to repeat. The devil doesn't like when you do that. Hallelujah. Dear Lord, fill my life with your love. May these scriptures, may these words of love be sunken into my heart, be saturated inside of me, overpour your love within my life, change me God into a human being that is full of love, that is full of your peace, that is full of your righteousness. For you so love the world, you sent your son to die for me. Teach me, God, to accept your love in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us get into the Word of God, the Bread of God. Meditate on these, they will make you strong. 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 14 Let all that you do be done in love. 1 John 4 and verse 8 Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 1 Peter 4 and verse 8 Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Colossians 3 and verse 14 and above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. John 13 verses 34 
to 35 a new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I loved you you also are to love one another by this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another John 15 and verse 13 greater love has no one than this that someone lay down his life for his friends 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 13 So now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. 1 John 4 verse 19 We love because he first loved us. Proverbs 10 and verse 12 Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. 1 John 4 and verse 7 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that he might live that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also are to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and, and his love is made complete in us. 1 John 4 and verse 16 to 18 And so we know and rely on the love of God as for and so we know and rely on the love God has for us God is love Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory, God. John 15, verses 9 to 10. Has the Father loved me? So have I loved you. 
now remain in my love if you keep my commands you will remain in my love just as I have kept my father's commands and remain in his love John 15 verses 12 to 13 my command is this love each other as I have loved you greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends Proverbs 3 and verses 3 to 4 let love and faithfulness never leave you bind them around your neck write them on the tablet of your heart then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man Deuteronomy 7 and verse 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations Psalm 86 and verse 15 But you, O Lord, are a God who is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Romans 5 and verse 8 God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 5 God being made rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our trespasses made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved 1st John 3 and verse 1 See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 3 if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love I am nothing if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love I gain nothing 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 8 Love is patient 
love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. Romans 12 verses 9 to 10 Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Song of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 3. I am my father, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Ecclesiastic 4 verses 9 to 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, the one can help the other up. But pity anyone, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Mark 10 But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Luke 6 verses 27 to 31 But to you who are listening I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on your cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to her the one who asks you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them to do to you. Luke 6 verse 35 but love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because He is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Matthew 5 
verses 43 to 48. You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his sun to shine on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. First Corinthians 16 and verse 14 Do everything in love. 1 John 3, verse 16 to 18. This is all we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but let us love with actions and in truth. Colossians 3, Colossians 3, verses 18 to 19. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Proverbs 18 verse 22 He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. Song of Solomon chapter 8 verse 3 I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. Song of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 4. I found the one my heart loves. Genesis 2, verses 22 to 24. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is no bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh. Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 12 May your fountains be blessed and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a grateful dear, 
May her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be intoxicated with her love. Proverbs 5 verse 18 to 19 Proverbs 5 verse 18 to 19 May your fountain be blessed and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth a loving doe, a grateful dear. May her, may her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be intoxicated with her love. Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 12 Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 12 a wife of noble character can find. Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 12 A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6 Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as, is as strong as death, Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6. Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death. It's jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love. Rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. Mark 12, verse 29 to 31. The most important one, answered Jesus. Is this? Hear, O Israel, the Lord, O God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The most important one answered Jesus, Mark 12, Verse 29 to 31. The most important one, answer Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, O God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind with all your strength. The second one is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Romans 
13 verse 8 let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to one love to one another for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law Proverbs 17 verse 17 a friend loves at all times Romans 13 and verse 10 love does no harm to a neighbor therefore love is the fulfillment of the law proverbs 20 verse 6 to 7 many claim to have unfailing love but a faithful person who can find the righteous lead blameless lives blessed are their children after them and now these three remain 1st Corinthians 13 verse 13 and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love Ephesians 4 and verse 2 to 3 be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing one another in love make every comfort make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace first peter 4 verse 8 above all love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins 1st John 4 verse 7 Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. 1 John 4 verse 11 Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. 1 John 4 verse 21 and he has given us this command anyone who loves God must also love their brothers and sisters Colossians 3 and verse 14 and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. I trust that these scriptures would be pondered upon your heart as you meditate on them, as they will be sunken in your heart. I pray that the Lord will bless your heart with love, bless your children with love, Bless your marriage with love, your church families with love, your friends with love, your workplace, your business. May the Lord bless them all with love.
be blessed stay safe stay in god's love he causes his sun to shine on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous if you love those who love you what what reward will you get are not even the tax collectors doing that and if you greet only your people what are you doing more than others do not even pagans do that be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect first corinthians 16 and verse 14 do everything in love first john 3 verse 16 to 18 this is all we know what love is jesus christ laid down his life for us and we are to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters Son if of anyone Solomon, has material possessions and sees and a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them oh i am the love my of father God be i am my person. beloved and my beloved is my dear mine. children let us not love with words ecclesiastic speech, four but let verses us love nine with action to twelve and in truth two are better than one colossians three because they have a colossians good return for three. their labor Verses 18 If either of them falls down, 19. the one can help the other up. Wives, submit but pity anyone, to your husband, but pity anyone as is fitting who in the falls Lord. and has no one to help husband, them up. Love your wife also, and do not be harsh If two with lie them. down together, they will keep warm. Proverbs But how oh, can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves and receives a card of three strands is not quickly broken. Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 3. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Song of Solomon. Chapter 3 and verse 4 I found the one my heart loves.